Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and you're watching the detailed camera review of the new Honor View 20. The new View 20 is the latest flagship offering in India and this is the world's first 48 megapixel rear camera which uses this new Sony IMX586 sensor and this device also comes with the Kirin 980 Octaco chipset, again the world's first 7nm chipset. There is also a 25 megapixel in-screen selfie camera and also the first device to sport an in-display camera in India. So how does the camera on the Honor View 20 performs? Let's find out in this detailed camera review. First step, let's have a look at the hardware. In terms of the camera hardware, the Honor View 20 comes with a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 CMOS sensor with an f-stop 1.8 aperture. There is also a secondary TOF 3D camera for depth sensing. There is also an LED flash included on the rear panel. On the front panel, the View 20 comes with a 25 megapixel selfie camera, which is an in-screen camera and comes with f-stop 2.0 aperture and screen flash is included for low-light selfies. So that's the camera hardware on the Honor View 20. So now let's have a look at the photos taken. First, the daylight shots. Natively, the Honor View 20 takes images in 12 megapixel and each pixel in the final images is informed by 4 pixels on the camera sensor itself and it gets you the 48 megapixel camera. This is known as pixel binning and the Sony IMX586 sensor is made with this process in mind as its sensor pixels are only 0.8 microns. The main sensor uses a quad bare array of pixel binning. The results are excellent with great details, excellent sharpness levels and good color reproduction. The upgraded AI camera supports recognition of over 1500 scenarios in more than 60 categories and the important thing to note here is that the AI mode no longer saturates the images, especially the greens. But in fact, it does a really good job in resolving shadows. The dynamic range in the photos is also really good. The close-up shots also have come great with great details and color accuracy. You can also enable the 48 megapixel image size in the camera app, but the images becomes a bit too soft and we would recommend to use the default 12 megapixel option. Moving to the portrait mode. The phone uses the TOS sensor for better edge detection. The TOS sensor uses IR light to map the space in front of the camera and see it in three dimensions. The portrait have come pretty good and it is vastly improved over the Honor 10. The sharpness levels are also quite good on the portrait shots. Moving to the low light images. The phone has a dedicated night mode which we saw on the Huawei's Mate 20 Pro as well. When you shoot the photos in night mode, uh, you need to hold the smartphone uh, steady as uh, the AI camera takes multiple frames and creates the best photo. Low light photos have great details and the colors are also really good. When used in night mode, we found the images to be a bit over sharpened and it is good to use the night mode only in challenging light conditions or else you can use the regular photo mode and still get great results in low light conditions. So this video is a uh, shot of with uh, the Warner View 20 and this has been recorded in full HD resolution. So uh, full HD resolution also supports electronic image stabilization. You can also record videos in 1080p resolution at 30 and 60 fps. But unfortunately uh, 60 fps does not support electronic image stabilization and this video has been shot in uh, 30 fps. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from uh, the rear camera which is being recorded in 1080p resolution. So this video has been shot using the Honor View 20 in 4K Ultra HD mode and you can also see that there is uh, electronic image stabilization being offered uh, in this uh, camera even in 4K support. So there is only 4K at 30 FPS, there is no 4K at uh, uh, 60 FPS that's not supported and you can see the video quality looks quite good uh, and uh, you can actually uh, see how good the stabilization works and also the audio quality from the rear camera which is being recorded in 4K Ultra HD. The Honor View 20 also offers slow motion at 120 FPS, 240 FPS and 960 FPS. The 120 FPS is offered at 1080p resolution while the 240 and 960 FPS is offered in 720p. Finally, the selfie experience. The 25 megapixel f2.0 camera on the Honor View 20 takes good selfies. 
the skin tones are good and the details in the selfie is also really good the dynamic range in the selfie is also pretty good the low light selfie performance and with screen flash is again pretty good and the screen flash helps uh, in low light conditions The Honor Beauty and also offers portrait mode for selfies using software processing and here again it's quite good with edge detection being not so accurate. This video has been shot using the front facing camera on the Honor View 20. It can record videos in 1080p resolution and uh, you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from the uh, front facing camera. That's a 25 megapixel shooter on the Honor View 20. So summing up, how good is the camera on the Honor View 20? In simple terms, the Honor View 20 is the best camera smartphone you can get for this price segment. With excellent image quality with a 48 megapixel sensor along with good low light performance, clearly the Honor View 20 stands tall in this segment. The video recording is also great and offers EIS for both 1080p resolution and 4K resolution with good quality. The selfie experience is also pretty good. Overall, we feel the Honor View 20 is the best in the segment when it comes to the camera department. And if you're looking for a phone in the sub 40k segment with great camera, without doubt, the Honor View 20 is the best bet. So that's it for the camera review of the Honor View 20. So what do you think about the camera on the Honor View 20? Share in your thoughts in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is Nimal signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.